Hey, what's up guys, Cyanus here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping into the demo of a game called Myth Force. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys the Steam page, but I do wanna preface this by saying, um, I already recorded this, so it's not gonna be my first initial thing because I recorded three demos and then I realized that my OBS actually changed my uh, audio device, so it didn't record any game audio. So I'm gonna have to record those three demos. So the next three demos you guys see come out I'm just going to have, it's going to be a re remake of a video, so it's not my first impression. So just take that with what it is. But the Steam page says, step into a Saturday morning cartoon, adventure through crypts, castles, or crypts and castles with your friends in this first person melee roguelike. Now, this is a roguelike game, obviously, that you're supposed to play with your friends. Uh, I mean, you're not supposed to, but it's made, I feel like, for multiple people but i don't have friends so we're just gonna hop in here in the in the previous video i made we're gonna i was playing maggie and i played uh rico here so we're actually going to focus on these two here we're gonna start with victoria a former Victor knight battle. of the solaire royal guard victoria formed and now leads the heroes of myth force she is a defensive hero excelling at close quarters combat and crowd control while not as fast as the other heroes victoria can keep the heat off of her party while mitigating damage with high stamina and defensive abilities. So she gets a charge, which uh, is her vanguard ability. Victoria charges into battle, knocking nearby monsters on their backs. Sling shield, Victoria throws her shield, which bounces from enemies to enemy, breaking their defense. And lion's roar, Victoria draws enemy attention and summons her enchanted mason shield. So that's who we're going to play right now. Captain America, that's who we're playing. I haven't tried either of these characters yet, but I do want to also say there's a bunch of these buildings. Most of them you can't really use in the demo, but uh, there's an armory where you can buy uh, weapon upgrades. So you can see here, this has, uh, like right here, you can buy a mace and a parrying dagger if you want that instead of a mace and shield. You can go for a sword and shield. You can go for a great sword, which is interesting. I think that could be fun. Um, and then you get a secondary weapon, which is right here, the uh, bow. Um, so that's interesting as well. We're going to dismiss that. We have the library that says, um, I believe it's just for lore. You go here. This is for your upgraded skills, which I actually didn't take a look at in the last one, but you get blood gems as you play through and you also get gold, which for some reason we're at zero, even though I didn't spend any of it. Um, so that's a thing. We're not really going to focus too much on that because obviously this is just the demo version. There is this where you can buy trinkets. There is this where you can get perks for your mission, I believe. Or maybe you just look at what the perks can do. And then uh, you can buy skins and stuff here, which is pretty cool. The fact that you don't have to pay real money for skins is nice. As far as what it will be like in the full game, I'm not sure. We're going to embark here, Bastion of the Beast Lord. The defector's sources reveal a way into the castle. Unfortunately, it's through a thicket, uh, the thicket, an overground ruin guarded by the monstrous beaster. So we're going to go here. Screw it, I'm going to play on hard, because why not? All right, and I will say we're going to play the other character if we get to it at that point. Wow, I feel like I've been talking for so long, but it's only been three minutes and 40 seconds. That's interesting. I've talked so much in that time. This okay. forest is teeming with death. Yes, we have to break every pot. That's what I've discovered because you can get good loot from pots, which I said this in the last time I recorded this, but I don't necessarily like pot loot. <laughs> because it makes me feel like I have to break every single pot. Okay, so I have a shield, um, which I didn't have. You can still block with the other characters. Oh, we can knock characters. She already seems like she's going to be way easier than the other characters. She doesn't really get like... Okay, maybe she... That's basically her movement ability. Uh... Which is nice. Now, one thing I do like about this game, other than loot, because I love loot in games, um, is the fact that you get uh, perks and stuff as you go, which you'll see as uh, when we go. Fragile Giant's Tooth. Okay, hold on. Sir, don't be rude. I also want to say that um, the voice acting's good. Did I say that already? I don't remember. This video's a mess. I... 
<laughs> it's literally after I I was so frustrated when I noticed, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get through it. We're here. Um, see, we have a bow as well, which the bow is pretty powerful um, for just being a secondary. I'll actually show you guys. See, we can get headshots for crits. And uh, but yeah, you guys will see the the perks and stuff as we go forward. There's actually quite a bit to loot, too. I'm assuming that's because usually you want to play this game with multiple people. Um, I accidentally pushed the wrong activate button. That happens when you play multiple games. Uh, but yeah, like, the voice acting is good. I feel like the enemies are honestly decently fun to fight. And it, I had one room in the episode that I, you guys didn't get to see uh, where... There was an enemy, I don't know if it was a champion or something, but it destroyed me. That's all I know. Gain a new perk. On perfect block, plus 10 physical defense to you and nearby allies for 10 seconds. Uh, power attack steal, plus 1% damage per meter traveled while charging. That's interesting. When you exit exhaustion, plus 50% energy regen for 10 seconds. That's probably pretty good, but I'm going to go for the power after... Uh, after charging now exhaustion is when your stamina runs well they're, it's called energy points in this game but it's basically stamina so okay and then our power attack should do more damage there we go but uh when you run out of stamina oh okay i've actually like that's probably one of the first times i've ever been hit in this game other than when i got destroyed like i told you guys um so here's the loot some loot Oh, shoot, I forgot to look at the other loot. I don't know if I can go back, but, you know, whatever. Okay, perfect. It does hit all enemies. That's what I was hoping for. So, yeah, crowd control for sure on this character. Don't, guys, yell at me if I forget. What the? Oh, yeah, those are, like, uh, little pots that uh, are actually alive, and they can try to blow you up, so... That's my exhaustion state when you see that uh, if you attack or anything like that that consumes energy points, then you get exhaustion where your screen goes black and you can't really move or anything. Well, you can move just very slowly. Um, minus 15% dodge. You can dodge, which with this character, I don't know if I'll necessarily use that much. Shop items cost 40% less for all players. Does not stack. Deal moderate amount of extra damage with projectiles proportionate to range that's uh decent i guess i can try to snipe this thing then see okay i failed i'm just gonna shoot that this guy's a little tricky to hit there we go 74 damage on that guy i feel like that's pretty good because usually that guy's pretty tough but you get loot when it drops it's basically a, a free loot pot magic resistance for an amulet we don't have one so we might as well Wait, that was an amulet, right? Here's our character screen, by the way. Yeah, amulet. Okay. So, we basically are just going to keep traveling through the levels like this. And like I said, depending on how long it is, then I might only play this character. Or if it's not very long, then we can also play the second character as well that I mentioned. Um, and if you guys do want to see more of this game, just let me know down in the comments. And I will make a video on each of the other characters if we miss any killing enemies generates plus one max hp okay so if i kill three enemies my max hp goes up that's pretty good i don't often block in this game i've discovered um but as this character i probably should i mean the last time i played it was with the uh, the mage. Okay. It says swap, but like there's something that said like you get an... I don't know. There was a thing that said uh, clean your inventory out, which I don't necessarily know what that means. Physical resistance is probably just better. Uh, it said clean your inventory out, but like maybe only the four items we have, but that seems like why would you want to get rid of your items? Am I talking a lot today? I feel like I'm talking extra. That's okay. Nope, not worth it. And any other chests up here? I don't think so. Step aside. Okay, that was beautiful. <laughs> you can see we picked up a potion in the bottom. You push H. I can also just drop it like this. 
Healing, it gives us 50 healing. It's a small healing potion. Another perk. When struck, gain plus 30% physical defense. More. I really like this. Glass cannon, plus 50% damage, minus 50% HP. Um, I'm just going to do it. I'm not scared. You can't shoot through this barrier, so... Okay, don't fail, please. Oh no, my attack is so slow because I'm exhausted. Okay. Yeah, I was getting a little cocky with the bow. I'm not going to lie. I bet you the archer's super good because the bow just feels like a super good weapon. So I would imagine the bow is pretty good. Someone behind me? I thought I heard that, but maybe not. Dodge this. So as you can see, this is pretty powerful. I haven't tried my R ability yet. Maybe I should. Looks like she gets a taunt with it as well. I kind of messed up. I should have done it when I... Uh, It's okay, now we know. Now we know. I should have done it when uh one I had my charge so I could move faster. And two, this is a healing shrine. Perfect. Uh two, I should have done it with more enemies around. That's what I meant to say. E if I could get a charge cooldown. Another oh, by the way, it says a rare oasis in these shadowed lands. It's like a little flower. It's pretty cool. I didn't even mention the the graphics style and, and such like that but it, the game looks really good there's a little bit of like film graininess that i don't like um which i said that might be on the case of the can you get up there okay might as well go get that loot while i'm talking about this um it might be on account of the cell shading kind of thing going on but i don't know there's something about it because like i play borderlands a lot and it doesn't feel this film grainy you know what's this oh rare resource shard i never seen a green one it's interesting but uh the game still looks really good in my opinion I'm trying to remember if i had any other complaints it must not have been a very big complaint if i can't remember right Oh, uh, I remember one thing. I was going to say, because the voice lines go off quite a bit. And this isn't really a complaint, more of just a suggestion. Because I know a lot of people actually don't like voice lines going off that much. But they don't want to turn it down. Because as you can see, if we go into the options here, you can actually turn off dialogue, right? You can just slide it down. But I think it would be a nice thing to have if they had a slider. Because some games do this. If they had a slider where you could turn off... Or, or you could turn down the frequency in which they actually say their voice lines. That is just kind of a uh, suggestion more than a critique. Because some people it doesn't bother. But, you know. Because the voice acting is quite good. By movement in the shadows. There's something truly fearsome nearby. Can you prove it? That room's always just a walkthrough room with that... I think it's the boss that kind of just lingers. Plus 20% timing window for all perfect actions. When you exit exhaustion, gain energy or power attacks deal more damage. Uh, I think the exhaustion one's actually quite good. Because you've seen that we actually got exhausted once and... They were actually, uh, they got a hit in on me because I was exhausted. All right. Oh, yeah. Captain America. For the honor of Excuse me, guys. These mushroom guys can uh, actually do pretty good damage to you. Well, that worked out. When you level up, you just get some stats, I believe. Mushroom Mage. Oh, shoot. Oh, I was going to... I stopped blocking because I was going to try to perfect, perfect block it, and I screwed myself. 
That's a little like, uh, I don't know what that robot guy does, but I've seen it before. I thought it would just be shielding, but I shot right through it to kill that guy. Oh well. Um, the other demos that are going to be coming out, uh, j just because I might as well say it here, we're going to be playing a game that is a, I won't spoil the name of it, just so that way you guys can check it out for yourselves when we get there, but uh, plus I also kind of don't remember the names. Uh, one is like a tower defense kind of deck building game, and the other one is a survival crafting game, but it, uh, what's this? Magic resistance. But the survival crafting game, you start in the dinosaur era and you go forward all the way to space, like to where you can get to space. So it's like a time traveling kind of survival crafting game, which seems very interesting. And it's actually made by one developer, so I really want to see how that goes. Physical attack added to magic attack. I don't need that because I don't have any magic attacks. Uh, Plus two stacking damage, 2% 2 stacking damage when enemies are killed and you lose it when you take damage. Perfectionist. That uh, sounds like something that I would like, so we're going to take it. This room, kind of just a transition room, I suppose. Or maybe you get to choose which way you want to go. I think one of these is a side room that you don't necessarily have to go to. Might as well go for the perfect timing window, because why not? Since I always seem to fail those. But this is what I mean with the whole pot stuff, is like the pot loot. Is that, like, it can be worth it every once in a while, but you feel like you gotta break every one or you're gonna miss something. And it can get tedious. Like, obviously, I can choose just not to break them, but for me, my brain doesn't, like, really let me. So that kind of sucks. But that's just like, that's not really a critique either. That's more of just, oh, champion in there or something. That's just more of my brain being dumb. On power attack, deal 55% damage in a line. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, let's see. On kill, gain plus 20 damage for two seconds. I like this one. So now I can do this. Heck yeah. All right. I'm gonna try and... What? What does that do? Do I just do a crap ton more damage? I'm so confused. It's a myth for... I've never tried that out before, by the way. If you didn't notice. That's funny. I, d I have no idea what that did. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't know if I was just gonna do more damage or what. Okay, those are just better boots. Uh, so yeah, that was oh, that was interesting, huh? Exhausted. Oh shoot. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Okay, that worked out for me actually. That myth force thing was funny and it's thrown me off. My whole commentary is like, my brain is confused. Spore tank. Ow, I lost my damage bonus, no. It's kind of a unfortunate situation that I've put myself in. Get my charge back, please. No, they hit me and it, it stunned my charge or something. Okay. Ow. I believe it's like um, most games like this where I'll probably take damage once I have try to block with no stamina. That could be the case, or maybe I just proved myself wrong in that situation there. Not quite sure. That was a little bit of an unfortunate situation. The game says this is the easiest character, but I've had, honestly, probably more 
more luck with the other ones. Let's call the copter. I'm not quite sure what it does though. Maybe it just buffs the enemies or something. I forgot I have <laughs> I forgot I have this. It doesn't have a lot of range. And also, I thought it would have AoE. It doesn't seem like it has that either. We might as well heal. Did it again, didn't I? Ow. I forgot that happens. Yeah, they blow up on you. And you don't get the loot. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Could have swore I opened those already, but... It's fine. Uh, plus 20% damage, plus energy costs, refund energy, or power tech steal. Power tech stealing more damage, probably good for me. Because, oh, added to the bow. Only fools trespass on my domain, and I do not grant intruders safe passage. You may take pride that you have come so far. Your incursion has come to an end. My minions will deal with you. Good luck, heroes. Survive the horde for two minutes. You only draw out your own defeat force, Lord. Now here's the thing, right? I wish there was a boss fight at the end of this level. Because now I there's not, by the way, just so you know. This is kind of like the end of the level kind of thing. And here's the thing. We can either go to the next character now, or I can keep playing this character and try to make it to the boss, which I've never done before. I, I haven't gone past this floor. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what you guys would want necessarily. Excuse me. Get smacked. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm dying. Good to know. Really gotta kill that guy. Okay, let's heal. That was kind of crappy, but it's fine. Oh, that guy gets bigger. That's cool. I've never let him get close to me before. Like I said, the game says this one... Maybe this one's just a better group character. Which makes sense to me. What are you? A rogue. I am exhausted. Don't die. Yeah, the damage output of this character uh, is a little bit rough for playing by yourself. Okay, don't, don't kill me. No, don't kill me. Mm -mm. Don't kill me, don't kill me. The bow's damage is super nice, though. We're making progress. Destroy the enemy. Okay, so I'm at 8 HP. I think if we have the choice to leave, which we will, we should probably just leave and test out the other character. Uh, considering the fact that I'm pretty much going to die soon. Unless I get healed in between levels. You know what? Screw it. Now, instead of doing the other character, we're going to... Um, not quite sure why those are here. Um, maybe you have a chance to get something good from them. But they're there for some reason. I've never gotten anything from them. But you know what? We're going to just keep pushing forward. And if the video ends, then it ends, I suppose. And we can try the next character if you guys want to see more of this. Because I was looking at my time. And it is a little bit past... 50 gold. It is a little bit past what I would want. Like, how long I'd want to make the video, so... Large healing potion for 6,000. That doesn't seem worth it. You can also talk to this guy to... Reroll the shop, more physical attack, or damage versus skeletons. I think we just take the physical attack. See, this says tidy your inventory and fill your purse. Uh, not quite sure what that means, considering it doesn't let me do it. 
All right, off we go. Next level with 8 HP. I've never been this far. You can just leave and get all your uh, stuff, but I'm just going to leave. Or not leave. I'm going to the next level. <laughs> Can't talk today, apparently. Dungeon loading. I believe in myself. All right, guys, we're in new territory here, so. Looks like I healed a little bit. All right. I would assume there's probably nothing really in this area. Might as well give it a quick peek. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything special. So I suppose we just keep going. But obviously this is like your... Your... Kind of like... What am I trying to say here? It's, it's pretty basic as far as... Um, as far as this genre, like, it's pretty much the same as, you know, other ones that you would play. But it is fun, and that's what really matters. Okay, you know what? I need to keep, I need to remember that I have the, uh, I need to remember that I have that power attack. It didn't even work that time. Maybe it doesn't work with the mace. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Which is unfortunate because they were closing in on me. Does this do AoE? There's a lot of enemies here. Now, as you can see, our damage output is lacking severely. So it's quite difficult to kill enemies before they, uh, damn, because the thing about the offense being a good defense, it's kind of true because if you can kill everyone before they can hurt you, then, you know, it's like, it's gonna be way better. Oh, you do damage? Can you die though? Can you die though? There we go. Okay. What the heck is, does the T button do? That's what I want to know. I know it goes Myth Force, but that's all I know. Grab all our gold. Took all my gold from me uh, when I reloaded the demo up, so we might as well just spend it while we can. Did I? I did loot that, right? Yeah. All our quality items are better than that one, so I didn't even look at it if you're wondering about that loot on the ground. I don't think it, it could be better. Everything that I've seen from the green rarity is pretty much the same. Plus 10 damage on hit, but it consumes an HP. Mm. Inflicts days on full HP enemies or inflicts electrified on power tech for the bow. No, I'm going to go for the stun because uh, I, like I use the bow a lot on this character, but I want to make the mace good enough to keep using. But the problem with it is, is this a secret? Guys, oh, that's kind of a secret maybe. Or it's just another way to go. Oh my gosh, again? Is that dumb? I'm injured. Maybe that's dumb? Okay, so that's a way to go. So I wanna head this way and see if uh see it can we also go this way or is that just Okay, so this is the way not to go, right? When below 50% HP, gain more damage. You know what? Screw it. Why not? Why not? Yeah, this is the side passage. That was actually the way to go, interestingly enough. I'd like to get a potion uh, if you'd like to, game. This is a gamble, a gamble thing, which uh, might be decent. 
You and your allies gain 15 plus 15% 15 experience. Uh, it's probably not better. Let's try again. Okay, I'm done wasting my gold. Goodbye. I was kind of hoping for a potion there, but it is what it is. Step aside. I do like the uh, stained glass windows. The art on them is pretty cool. Alright, we just gotta try and survive. 43 health. You know what? Just knock everyone over. I took damage there. Okay. Oh yeah, and I do a crap ton more damage. Okay. I just did 638 damage to that guy. So. Shoot. Dodge this. Yeah, the bow is very good. <laughs> I can only imagine the ranger is OP. Don't forget to grab your chests at the beginning. Sometimes they spawn there. The heck did that go? Actually, the mace is doing its job right now, so... Oh, shoot. You know what? I just had to say something, didn't I? Would you like to die, sir? Alright, where's that healing shrine when you need one? I guess they're pretty rare. Potion. Oh. Ooh. I shall take the potion. I needed it badly. Dodge this. It'd be cool if there's a way to reduce your cooldown on your shield. Like if it just bounced in a straight line and maybe if you caught it, it would uh it would reduce your cooldown. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, like put a little bit of skill into it, but you have to uh Click uh, fire bow, ice bow, or on kill gain damage. You know what? We're going on kill gain damage. I'm trying to use my mace because because I chose the uh, knight class. Dodge this. Okay, uh, you can't block. That's uh, that's actually really good to know. You can't block when you throw your shield. I mean, it makes sense, guys. There's an arrow in my face. Help me. You got destroyed, sir. I already have that. Me just looking at loot while I'm getting shot at. When I don't even have like a lot of HP. I know I'm smart. Perfect. Don't worry, I'm fine. Dodge this. Hello, stupid mage. Alright, I think we're good to loot. He's the same? Yeah. Heard another enemy. There you are. Don't have enough range. Okay. Well, I will meet you on the other side, buddy. I'm gonna go loot. I guess I'll just kill you now. Yep. Seen a few more pots down here. Figured might as well kill him while we're at it. Or them. You know, it's a mushroom. They probably... Do mushrooms have genders? I don't know. Probably just call it a, a them. No one really cares at this point, let's be honest. I doubt a mushroom cares. Okay, we got the loot. All 
All right. Oh yeah. Getting all the loot. Seems like the pots are paying out a little more now, which is nice. More damage, more health. You know what? Health, I suppose, at this point. We're at 200 health, basically, now. We're making progress. Oh, you're a big boy, huh? Regenerating spore. The fight you seek is with me. <laughs> I just getting knocked over. Imagine being being a big guy and you just get knocked over instantly and die. Wow, you lasted longer than that champion. That's pretty funny. Ooh, a spore archer. You haven't seen one of those yet. When there's this many ranged enemies, we might as well use our bow. Is that a lizard man? I think that was a lizard man. I haven't seen a lizard man either. Free potion, might as well. Suppose it's always good to check those trapped areas because they always seem to have something. I've never seen one of those trap areas without something. Like, I bet you there's going to be something right over there in the corner. Yeah, but it's just a green, though. We don't... Well, it could be one of those gems, I suppose. That's an amulet, I think. Yeah, we don't need it. Okay, so this video is probably going to be longer than I wanted it to be, but... Where'd my amulet go? The one I thought that we had was actually... Oh, no. Fire enchantment? on our mace. I like that the enchantment shows as well. I guess well, the one well, that it boss fight. Alive. You must be more witless than you look to keep blundering through my land. You should have turned back while you still had the chance. A war chief approaches. Too late now. A war chief approaches. Okay. I like that. How good is this war chief? That's the question. Let's do this. And this. He's dead. Get wrecked, dude. Goodbye, war chief. He thought he was good. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Anyone else? I don't mind fighting more. Anyone? I would assume certain enemies take more damage because that spore got wrecked by the fire. Skeletons, not so much, though. Let's try it on another spore if one comes out. Lizard man, you actually look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Okay, just let me uh, regain stamina, please, sir. Berserker. Gotcha. Lizard Man Tank. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot we daze on attacks, too, so that's pretty good. I guess we just got a crit hit or something on that guy. Five seconds. I should have just held, waited uh, to kill that guy, but it's fine. Is that the cheap way to do it? Remember, we only daze full health enemies. 
I feel stronger. Also interesting that we don't level oh, we don't full heal and level up, but that would probably break the game, so. On kill heal one, sure. It's probably pretty good. Uh skeleton berserker. Look at all of that stuff it has. Magic resistance to every magic type. To every element, I I should say. So the lizard men. Let's just um. Goodbye. Goodbye. Boop. 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 I wonder if you gain invincibility uh when that myth force thing's happening. Dude got destroyed. Get bought. Okay, that's what I get, honestly. Just focusing here for a second. Don't die, please. There's actually quite a few on it. I should have used this instead of my potion now that I think about it. Oh well. You live and you learn. That's what we say. If I die in the boss because I don't have a potion, then you know where to blame me. Resistance to ice damage. I don't know if there is going to be a lot of ice damage, but I'll take it. There's obviously a lot of fire damage, which uh, an amulet like that would be pretty good. I actually should take that amulet since I don't have one. Any oh, wait, no, I do have an amulet. I don't have a trinket. Is that what that is? Too bad it's gone forever now. Oh, well. What can you do? We get another weapon upgrade here, which is pretty nice. Inflicts corruption on enemies at full health. Inflicts corruption on perfect block. Uh, and perfect parry, and on enemies at full health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even more enchants? Do I still get the fire enchant, though? That's the question. Um, let's see. Where would it be at? Ice warding, nimble, forceful. I suppose we'll see. It looks like it might have taken my other enchantment off. I'm not even sure what corruption is. I would assume it's like poison. Which is it better than fire? I don't know. Also 100% damage. I don't know why we wouldn't take that. You might as well take all the glass cannons at this point if you've already taken all the other ones. I would really like to get a trinket. For my trinket slot since I don't have one anymore. Secret? Could have been. You never know. I like these rooms because you get a free perk, so that's pretty nice. Another perk. Killing three enemies grants two max HP. Sure. Physical attack added to magic attack. I wonder if that would affect our little burst. What the heck was that sound? Goblin or something? It was indeed a goblin. Okay, gotta get out of there real quick. Maybe those heal. That's probably what it is. Alright, we've done it. Exhausted, those do nothing for me. 
Let's see. Inflict bleed on hit. Inflicts poison on hit. So poison is its own thing. I'm not even quite sure what corruption is, but sure. Let's go uh, heavy. So we get more... Uh, more damage, but it costs more to actually hit. More stamina, rather. But if we can one-shot everything, then... Why does it matter how much energy we use, I suppose? That's exactly the same. Perfect. I feel stronger. I wonder why it turns small. That's interesting. Ow. Looks like maybe we can't take knockback damage if we're blocking with this shield. Plus it really just bonks him down, which is nice. Please just die. There's a lot of enemies in this room, huh? Our health has gone up quite a bit. So I'm not really worried about the health department anymore. Even if I do take some hits. Oh, wow, he snapped. He even hit me while he was dazed? That seems like that's not supposed to happen. But I guess. Sure game. Sure, sure. Grab all this gold. That gold too. Um, we're just spawning a rare trinket at this point. Receive minus two perk options of visiting a skill shrine. All perks start at tier two. I guess so. I don't see why not at this point. We're almost to the end. The Daze is so good. Daze and a full health enemy. For the honor of the I parried your... Okay, you're dead. Goodbye. How do I get up there? I'm on fire. Now, I tried to get out of the way of that, but I didn't in time. I knew it was there, though. So I don't really have an excuse. Okay, that was a power attack. Sure. Like I said, charging can kind of hurt us uh, more than help us at this point because it deals a little bit of damage to them. So they don't get dazed when we hit them. What's this? Test my luck. Sure, why not? We got a free healing potion. It'll definitely come in handy. For this moment, I think it was worth it. Maybe not. Eh, didn't matter. I was going to say, I probably would have been good to daze those guys, but we did it, so I'm not worried. Another he We're going to swap. We're going to use the smaller one and pick up the big one. I think that was a better play than just popping the big one. I wanted to try and record a bunch of videos tonight, but this video is taking way longer than I thought, which is fine. It's a fun game, so I don't mind it. Okay, do the same thing here. 
Now we're at full health. We have 245. Can't really complain when we have glass cannon. Heal another health on kill. Is that better than physical attack damage? Probably not, honestly, because we're already suffering uh, on attack damage pretty badly. But yeah, uh, maybe I'll still be able to record a few. I'm not sure. Because I do got to work tomorrow, but that's okay. It's a fun game. I don't mind it. If this was a game I didn't like, then the video would already be over. <laughs> For sure. I just love getting loot, killing enemies, especially bosses. Like when you... I would like there, there to be more uh, boss fights. Like maybe one at the end of each floor. Plus 20% damage with maces. Mace power attack inflicts days. Uh, plus 20% damage versus enemies at full HP. I'll take the, the days one, because then I can power attack people in days whole groups. This seems like we're getting close to the boss. I was wondering if there were any secret rooms. This looks suspicious. Not a secret room? Doesn't that look suspicious, though? Huh. Oh. Suppose not. All right, boss fight. I wonder if this is like if you buy something and swap it out, then uh, it'll switch to. I don't really need any of those. Interesting, interesting. Let's go. This is the end of the level. I'm going to have to wrap it up here. But I really wish we could see a boss. It's, uh, it's... You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the next level. And if it's not a boss fight, like if I have to fight through the whole floor again, we're going to wrap up the episode there. Um, but if it is, then we get to see a boss fight. I'm hoping this floor is just like you're at a boss fight now instead of just going through the whole floor again. It's shorter. You know what? Screw it. We're already this far. It's a shorter floor, so I don't mind. Because I really want to show you guys a boss fight, so... It's a shorter floor, but I'm sure that... But something's missing. Dodge this! Okay, maybe it's a bigger floor because. What's this? Probably a bigger floor um, because it takes longer. Oh well, I suppose. We're already here. I said we're doing it, so we will. Fire two arrows. Two additional arrows, so three arrows. Heck yeah. Is this like a puzzle that I'm missing? Okay, uh, I would I would definitely have enjoyed if the controls the gate. I would assume we have to go this way first. I would like if the uh, triple arrow was you know, had less spread. So I don't necessarily know how you're supposed to aim that. So our bow is basically useless. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you before. I know you can still attack in your days for some reason. Stop hitting me. Yeah, our bow is pretty much trash now, which is sad. Wow, they're really just spamming us, huh? Ow. 
Ow. I'm injured. Dude, somehow still. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. I guess it didn't matter, guys. Dude was still blocking the whole time. All right. Well, that's our look at it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Look at that, thirty-seven thousand. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more, please leave a like. And uh, if you guys want, I can break it up into smaller episodes. If you want to see more of this and you don't want to see like hour long videos every time. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys.